Hi, I'm Joy Cho. I'm the founder and creative director of Oh Joy. My class on Skillshare just launched, and it's all about how to make yourself more appealing to brands so that you can get the jobs that you want. Join me in this exclusive lesson on Skillshare on how to pitch yourself to brands. We just created our digital pitch. Now that was a great template and a great starter for now transitioning into making a physical version that we can send in the mail. Let me show you how. I'm taking my digital pitch, the version that I made as a PDF, and now I'm going to reorganize it a little bit into an accordion style booklet. So I'm taking some of the major pages, bringing it down into a smaller size, and then I'm going to mock it up onto a physical booklet. For me, the version that I did is based on bookmaking. I love making books. And so this was how I translated mine into something that somebody can hold, look at, get in the mail. You do what makes sense for you. If you know how to collage, you know how to paint, you know how to do all the different things, feel free to make it as long as it's something that can be sent in the mail. Here you have the printed pages from my physical pitch that I have printed out. So I have my front cover, I have my bio page, I have a recap of some of my past work, I have examples of recent things that might be notable, and I have my notables press page. Also for this version, I have created a letter that is built in to my accordion style booklet. This is where I'm going to be able to change it every single time, depending on who I'm reaching out to. Everything that I use materials wise, I already had at home. I'm using a printer printer paper, I have my ruler, X-Acto knife, tape, various adhesives to attach to the printer paper to a slightly thicker cardstock. So those are things that I need. As you think about your ideas, think about your materials as well and things that you might need. Okay, I cut out those pieces that you saw. I spent some time assembling it and you can see my almost completed booklet. That is one piece here. Now, the last piece I have goes right here, which is my customized letter. So I have this here. This is specific to someone I'm sending a pitch to. And again, I will use this as a template to customize it every single time for a different brand. So my last step will be to apply this and then it will be finished and ready to go. Okay, here's the last piece to assemble for my accordion style booklet for my physical pitch. Remember, the key thing is for your pitch to be memorable. I wanna show you examples of things that I've received in the past that I have kept because they're just cool, they're inspiring in some way, and they showed me what that person can do. Now, most of these are printed on paper, but people used paper in such unique ways. Sometimes it was a thicker car sock, but this has a piece of tape on it. Sometimes they were small booklets. Sometimes it was a giant fold out piece. You can do things with die cut. Again, so many different formats, even just the way you change up the size of a standard booklet makes it feel extra special. Or the way you use black ink on colorful paper. It's a great way to show a miniature version of your portfolio, to show people what you can do. And again, to show what you bring to the table. Now remember, you don't have to limit yourself to paper or printing things out or making a book. You can do whatever makes sense for you, whether it's painting, whether it's a sculpture, whether you wanna make a jack in the box, like anything that would be fun, inspiring, the most important thing is to get their attention, show what you can do and surprise them. And one more thing to keep in mind, don't just send it in a white envelope in a brown paper box Let's make it special, decorate that envelope. If you can do calligraphy, if you have some great hand lettering, paint on the box, do something that's going to stand out so that when people receive that package before they even open it, they want to know what's inside. Now that we've finished the physical pitch, we're gonna get ready to send it out. But before you do that, snap a photo, share it in the project gallery. I can't wait to see what you're working on. Thanks so much for joining me on this lesson that was one part of my class on how to pitch yourself 
to brands. Join me in the full class to really hone in on what your skills and strengths are, what brands are gonna be the best for you based on your hopes and dreams, and how to put that all together into a pitch to send to brands. Click on the link below, I can't wait to see you there. While you're here, why not subscribe to Skillshare's channel to get more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.